All right, we are back in the booth on Saturday morning and we are gonna paint this grenade knockoff in a ghost gill pattern. What I've already done is I've already put a coat of transparent autoborn sealer over this to start. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some white and I actually am gonna use some house of color on this one. You don't have to use house of color. You can use titanium white, regular white of any kind. It'll all work the same. So what we're gonna do, got it in the gun. I'm gonna turn my fan on. And what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna come down there, there, on this bait, it shows a, like a, a hump line up on the right above the eye, right below the eye, excuse me. And I'm just going to paint, just get enough white on it. And I'm going to do the top. Just get a light coat of this on there. And I'm going to come across the eye. Clean that out. I'm going to switch guns. I'm going to grab my PS 771. that dry for a second. We'll go ahead and put a little heat on that one. This is a relatively simple pattern, um, but it's effective. It catches fish. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a... <clears throat> Let's see which color I'm going to use on this one. We're going to go ahead and use a yellow on the top of this. And it's going to be a golden, just a, a medium yellow. And we'll put a little bit in our gun. We'll go ahead and spin it. Make sure it's stirred up really good. Put a few drops in the gun. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come over the top. I'm not going to cover all of the white up. I just want a little bit of it showing. So I'm going to come down just a little bit. Get a good coat of it on there. Okay. So you can see we've got just a little bit of the white showing. It's not much, but it's just enough to um to give it a, a, a multicolored look. And we'll let that dry and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got that dry. And we're going to be going to the next step, which is going to be to put some, just some uh, brim bars on this. And what I do is I just, I got a technique I use. It just keeps my baits flat. I use a sponge and I'll get this out of this real quick and we'll, I'll show you how I do this. Let me set this to the side. And I'll get it in the camera view where you can see it. What I've done is I just went and got a, just a car wash sponge at, at Dollar Tree. And then I've got my, I, like I said, I don't really know what they call this wheel. It's some kind of craft wheel that women use to do, and I don't know, some kind of stitching. But what I'll do is I'll lay the bait flat 
and then I'll just, and well, the other trick to this too, I'll give you a tip. I don't put the netting, the, the loofah in this thing really tight. You can see I got play in it. I don't want it super tight. I don't want it stretching out the um, scale pattern on this. And I'll just lay it on there flat and then I'll tuck the sponge under it. And it gives it a kind of a tighter diamond pattern. And I use this little one to kind of kick it up where I can actually see what I'm doing. And so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna grab some golden sepia. Sepia is a great color for bluegill, brim, sunfish, whatever you wanna call it. So we'll get that stirred up and we'll put a few drops in the gun. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just eyeballing this. I'm gonna put three on here. I'm spraying on very low pressure, probably about 15. And I'm, I'm gonna try not to get it on the gill because I'm gonna do a little bit more stuff on that. So I'm just gonna come just on the outside of it. And I'm just gonna take a line and go down it. I'm gonna do another one. And then do a third one. And that's all I'm gonna do with that. So what I'll do is I'll take my, my hair dryer and just kind of heat set that. It's gonna be transparent, so it gives it a really neat look. So we'll just slowly pop it off and I'll let you see it. It gives it a really unique look. So what we'll do now, we'll just flip it over and you're gonna come, the first line will come right by the gill. So you set it on, then tuck it. And it'll keep it completely flat. I gotta turn it a little bit. I'm, you gotta line your scales up. I didn't do that on this one. So we'll lay it there. Let me get them lined up right. Lay it flat, tuck it. And this system usually works pretty good. It's pretty much hands-free. So then we'll take our sepia again and we'll do our three lines. We're gonna come down. And it gives it a cool, well, it puts the scales into the bars and it's kind of a, kind of a neat little technique. So we'll take that, just slowly untuck it, pull it off, and you got your scale bars. Gives it a really kind of a cool look. And we'll move these out of the way, get my stand back up here. We'll put it back in where you can see. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can change this camera view to get you a little closer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a modeling stencil and I'm gonna put a little bit of sepia on these gills a little bit. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of copper when I get done. So we'll flip it around Get a little bit of that on there. We'll let that dry. We're gonna clean our gun out real quick. And then we'll put a little bit of copper on there. Like I said, it's not a hard pattern. Really cool effect. It'll catch fish. So what we'll do now is we'll shake this up. This 4E's mixer is fantastic. I've, I've gotten a lot of things doing this lure painting, but the 4E's mixer has been one of my favorite things to have. So 
So put a little bit of copper in there. And that copper is golden too. It's just an iridescent copper. And I'll go over everything here in a, just a minute. And we're just gonna go on the high side of it. Just put a little bit of copper on there. So we'll go ahead and heat set that. I'll, I'm gonna clean the gun out and I'll be right back. All right, so that is dry now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some eyes on it. And we've got a set of custom eyes for this. And I'll try to leave it in the stand so you can see it. And these are eight millimeter eyes. And they will set this bait off. If I can get the eye to stay in there. There we go. We'll spin that down, get this other eye in. We're going to get a little bit, and we'll take this off. We're going to put a little bit of UVLS on this. So let me get this tape off, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got the tape off. We got the eyes in. Really cool looking bait. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to put one coat of UVLS over this just to kind of lock the colors in. So we've already mixed it. Set this over there. Turn our fan on. And we're just going to get one coat on it. You want to get it on there good and wet. and then just let it dry. So as soon as it dries, we'll come back and we'll get a coat of UV resin on it. All right, so we've got the UVLS dry on the bait and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over how we did this one. So what I did at first, I just had the blank bait, I taped the bill off and I put a coat of transparent auto -born sealer on this. Then I came back over it to the shoulders with your choice of white. I used House of Color. You can use any white. It will work. Then I came back over the top with some medium yellow from Golden. And I left just a little bit of the white showing um, above the shoulder there. Then we came back and took our loofah to do our scale pattern. And we used a golden sepia. And what we did was we put it on our sponge, we secured it in and we brought three lines down. Then we used the Anarchy modeled stencil, put a little bit of sepia here. Then we came back on the high side and used some iridescent copper fine on the top of it. Then we used our custom eyes that look really good. I'll bring it up where you can actually see it. Turned out really cool. And now what we'll do is we're gonna put a coat of UV resin on it. And then I can show you the final product when it comes out of the box. So let me slide these paints out of the way. This is, like I said, this is not a hard pattern to do. This is a good, a good beginner pattern to paint. And it catches fish, so that's even better. So, let's get set up. We'll get some UV resin. I use, I, I'm getting a lot of questions about this, and I guess I haven't said it on the video but what I'm using is Aluma UV on mine. That's what, that's, that's what I like when I use UV resin. 
There's all kinds of knockoffs on Amazon, which I have not tried. So I don't know whether they're good, bad, or whatever. I just use the Aluma UV and I brush mine on. You can dip it. There's a couple different ways that you can handle it. I just like brushing it on. I feel like I don't waste it. And you just want to get a thin coat on it. But them colors start jumping when you start putting this on. I get my brushes at either Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree, depending on what I find that I like. This brush here came from Hobby Lobby. You want to make sure you get some down in that eye socket. I don't have problems with my eyes coming out of my lures, too. I, you just got to take your time on this process. A lot of people were getting confused thinking that the UVLS is a, is a finish top coat, and it's not. It's really a medium paint protector. It just kind of keeps your colors from fading. Just a good product to use. I mix it with all my candy 2Os. But it really, the UV resin's nice. I like it because if I want to go fish this this afternoon, I can leave it in the box for, I mean, I don't have to leave it in there 30 minutes and it's done, but I usually leave them in about two hours just because I'm not in any hurry with it. And I'll go over it twice. I go over the bill. It just clears it up. A lot of people, I guess they don't like that, but that's just personal preference. If you don't want to do the bill, you don't have to do the bill. I do, and that's just what I choose to do, but... And I'll go over it both ways just to make sure. Doesn't leave it... Depending on, like I said, if you get a decent brush and... And I don't have, like if, like, if this was winter time, I would actually warm the UV up a little bit. I don't have to do this out in the shop because it's, it's been 100 degrees here. So it just, I didn't come out here till this morning when it was not so hot. But it's, it's very workable. And it just doesn't, when it's, when it's like this, it doesn't bubble. I haven't had those issues. But just go over it real good. I'm not getting it in my hook hangers. I'm just making sure I get it on the eyes really well. Making sure I'm just getting it covered, making sure I don't have any air bubbles. Usually you can just take a, a stroke all the way down and it'll, it pretty much alleviates that. So that's what it looks like when it's coated. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it in my light box I'll do a video on the light box. It's not much. I just kind of made it out of a little, little old box I had hanging around the house. But as soon as I take it out of the box, I'll show you the final results. All right, so we have taken it out of the box. And that is the finished product. Pretty cool bait. If you hadn't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification so you know when I have upcoming videos. And like I always say, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.